What's up, you guys? Matt here, aka Gordon Gent. Um, so I was gonna do a video on uh, on what I wore this week, kind of break down like what I wore and how they reacted uh, with me, and if, if I liked them, if I didn't like them. But uh, to the mind, the last minute, I don't know why, but I did. Instead, I'm, I'm uh, gonna give you guys my three worst blind buys of this year, uh, of 2019. Um, just because I've done a lot, of, I've done a lot of blind buying. Most of this right here was all blind buying, um, and a lot of this was bought this this year. A lot of it was, um, but I had some really good ones and I had some really bad ones. Um, I mean, so bad that I either sold it immediately, returned it. Um, we've all been there. We've all, you know, if we're in this game and we have a bunch of stuff, we've all. Either we have stuff that we still, uh, you know, you have in our collection because it's, you know, completes the collection, or we just bought them. They're cheap, and we still have them. Um, so, so, something that happens. But I have three big ones this year that I still really regret buying in the first place. Um, at my number three spot, it has to be a uh, Molecule O One. Um, I bought that on, I think, on Fragrance Net. And just because I was watching all the videos, um, I was curious, you know, something a little bit different. Um, and I was reading all the hype, all the stuff about it. And then, you know, the hype stuff from a couple years ago. And then I started really, you know, looking at, you know, modern reviews of it. Or well, whenever it was, you know, released. Um, I started looking at more recent um, reviews of it and how people were just legitimately not smelling anything. Um, but some say they were... Um, which I don't doubt, but I'm not one of them, really. Um, even when, when I did wear it, I wore it only a couple of times. Um, I tried layering it because I, I read that it enhances whatever, but no, not for me. Um, I didn't get any. I didn't get, didn't get a smell when I put it on. Not only that, uh, the bottle is kind of weird. Um, when I got the bottle, there was no cap. Um, the sprayer is kind of weird. It's, it's, it's like real short spray. It's kind of like hit. I guess it made it hit the hit pulse points. I don't know, but it mm -mm. for what for what they're charging for for that uh, Machio one. That was one of my biggest, definitely one of my biggest you know mistakes of this year, for sure in terms of buying um, fragrances. Uh, number two, uh, this one's like a lot of people. Um, I have just not been one of them. Um, when I put it on, it was. It, it burnt my nose. It was too loud. It was too sweet. Um, I I, remember I, sm I smelled it out in public, and I asked someone what they were wearing, and they told me they told me what it was. And I, the next day, I'm like, I, I gotta have that. It's gonna smell great. It's um, turns out I, I think this person was lying, either either lying to me, or it's proven the, the you know the fact that everyone's body responds differently to to clones, um, which is true. I mean, I. Could, I could wear something on here and, and it'd be my all time favorite and the way it projects on me, whatever. And then you put it on and it just doesn't do it. Um, but that number two would be 1 million lucky. Um, not the original. I, I've never tried, I, I've smelled the original I, and I've smelled the Privé, um, Privé, Privy, whatever. Um, I don't really like the original, the, the um, Privé, whatever it's called. I like that one. That one, that one's okay. I've only smelled it on a card, um, but I, I've never put it on, a, you know, for a full wearing. But one million lucky, I did. I, I really gave it a shot. Um, and it's just too loud. Uh, it's just offensive. Um, uh, I I did get a compliment with it, but it just wasn't for me. It it wasn't something that I could see myself like like wearing like once or twice a week. I couldn't do it. Um, I don't know if it's the heat here or if it's just, I don't know what it is, but it's one for me, one did, did, didn't, it, it, you know, it projected well, um, lasted a long time, but I just hated the smell of it. That's, mm -mm. wasn't for me. Um, my th number one, biggest mistake of the year had to be, it was, it was something that I bought because I believe that it could have been a good thing to buy. Um, like I really thought that this it was a good investment. Um, that it was gonna get a lot get a lot of wear from me. Okay. 
Um, but it turned out it when I, when I put it on, it smelled like straight up cigarette ashes, like someone had just like poured cigarette ashes on, on me. Like it, it's known to have a really bad opening. Um, it is not this. It's not this one. But I bet I bet you can guess what it is. It is Mont Blanc Explorer. To me, it's straight trash. I put it on, couldn't stand it. I I I had to get home. I had to shower. Like it was just awful smelling to to me. Um, and I I I only bought like a travel size of that one too, and it still is my worst uh, blind buy of the year. Um. But hey, who, the year's not over with yet. I might. Uh, I haven't gone out and bought anything anything niche yet. Um, so that could be, hopefully, not my next worst blind buy this year. Because if I was unhappy about you know spending a hundred bucks on Molecule One and whatever I spent on Lucky and Mont Blanc, I do not want to go out and blind buy a uh, you know two hundred, three hundred, four hundred dollar bottle. Um, um, like that's why I, I, I won't go out and buy Creed Aventus cause I've had the little, the little decants of it. Um, and, mm -mm. uh, it's just not, it's just, it, it didn't last like, you know, like I've read, I, um, that saved me a lot of money having those two. Um, and, and they were both different batches. They weren't the same. They weren't like the same modern batch, which I'm, I'm sure that there are some, some on the lines that were great, but those just weren't for me. But like I said, there is one honorable mention that is still I won't ever wear. But it's why so Libre. Like we said, that a lot of us have um, colognes that we have just for our collection. For me, this is this one. Um, and I say it's just for my collection, but I really haven't got this guy haven't gotten around to selling it yet um, or trading it. I, I need to do that, but it still it still looks cool up there. So right now it's just hmm, yeah. And another another honorable mention would be have to be the Sean John Unforgivable because that's all that it's, to me it smells the the same. Um, like like how the cap smells the same. But yeah, guys. Um, if you want, go ahead and comment down below. Um, let me know what yours were, or let, let me know what your best blind buys were. Um. I might do that one later, but for right now, that's it, I guess.